Hello my friends. I'm going to show you how to make drumsticks for a powwow drum. This is a yoga floor mat. It's about an eighth inch thick. I laid out lines five inch and seven inch and I'm cutting these out for the drum head and the drum or drumstick head and the drumstick handle. For the drumsticks themselves, for the rods, I'm using road or driveway marker sticks. They're fiberglass and they're under three dollars for two of them and they come in a four foot length. I cut them at 22 inches so you get four of them for less than four dollars. Uh, the best way to cut them uh, you could use a hacksaw but I have an abrasive saw and the abrasive saw makes a real nice cut this will ruin a lot of wood cutting saws. I would not cut these with my band saw. But the abrasive saw works good and hacksaw blades are fairly expendable and they cut okay. For this thickness of foam I find that a 10 inch length <coughs> makes the perfect length for rolling the handle for both the drum head and the handle okay the drum head is 5 by 10 and the handle will be 7 by 10 one of these floor mats give enough material to make a dozen drumsticks I begin by attaching the rubber or the foam to the stick. You can use electrical tape, duct tape, whatever. Make sure when you start that it's parallel. You see I leaned it against the edge and secured the tape. Press tightly down and then roll it. Tape in the direction that you rolled it so it's tightening as you're doing this. You can adjust the thickness to your liking. This feels comfortable for me. And with this one you may have to roll it over or have the handle sticking over the edge of the table. If you had it this way the stick is not parallel to the table. When I get to this end, I want to really compress it. When I get about halfway, I start aiming this to be about an eighth of an inch over. Like that. And what that does is it kind of gives this the beginning of rounding the end off. Then I pull this end tighter. This is the beater end. And it'll slight, give a slight taper on that side. Going around the bend, you have to use a punch that has fewer prongs, and that allows you to make the curve. Then once you hit the straight area, 
you use the straight punch and that allows you to progress quicker. The leather covering is cut out and punched. The lacing holes are punched. And now we need to cover this, wrap this with our electrical tape. <clears throat> and I start on the, the fiberglass rod. And what this is doing is it's locking the head on so that it can't pull off. And now what I want to do is taper this end so I'm going to go up on the pad, wrap this and each time I'm pulling some pretty good pressure and compressing that foam. Okay, so now we have that end rounded. Okay, next step, we want to make this wrap a sticky wrap. So I take the tape and I reverse its direction. See, I come up onto the thicker part, reverse the direction. Now the sticky side is out. And I wrap this around, and each revolution I'm going to go across. Okay, now when I come to the end, I want this also rounded, and I did have it slightly tapered by, uh, when I rolled it, I uh, kinked it over. Now right on this end, I'll pull some tension, and it compressed that, and we don't really need to have it on the end. This is all that's needed as far as the sticky part. Okay, now we want to start lacing. Now the edges should come close but not touch each other. So if you look here, we go almost to the center, stay slightly short. I'm making it straight. And this gap, this will pull in as we're stitching. We don't need the sticky on here. We don't need it on the very tip. Okay, we start from this slot here, and we stitch around. Okay, I'm sewing with a curved needle, and I'm using artificial sinew. And I have about 10 feet of it. Okay, we start with the very first hole in this V slot. We make an overhand knot, just one loop is enough. And then we take the tag end and I'm tucking it underneath like that. So now that is out of the way. Coming from the outside to the inside of the seam, pull it taut, flip the, the cord inward. Continue your lacing all the way to the end, and the end might get a little staggered. Uh, it could be because the number of holes on each side weren't even. And 
the way you tie this off is you wrap this end here and the way you tie the knot is you take this end make a loop and we make as many turns as we can going through this loop then you take the tag end put underneath where you're winding now you continue this wind and as you're tightening on this side right here it's unwinding those loops that you made right there we got them all now you take this tag end this is buried underneath those new windings and we pull this through and pull it with some good tension like that and that tightens it on there After you pull the cord tight to secure it, just take a flame and that will permanently lock the end. To decorate the fiberglass rod, you can get uh, colored vinyl electrical tape. This comes in a package. You could find this in uh, automotive area in Walmart or you can buy this vinyl. This is in the art supply at Walmart and uh, you can use either or or both. Uh, the vinyl it comes with a backing and you remove the backing Okay, when you remove the backing, it's very sticky. The uh, diameter of the rod, you need to have a little more than three times that diam diameter to go around the uh, area of the rod. Okay, start at the ed leading edge. Right there. And then we can go with other colors. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye bye.